Welcome back to Nanny Jen's Storytime Couch. Thanks so much for coming. Before I introduce today's book, I want to say a special hello to my friend Kari in Philly, who I got to see a very cute picture of them enjoying my show. Hi, Kari! And I want to say today is a very special day because it is my friend Chloe's ninth birthday. Happy birthday, Chloe! Chloe is very cool, and I got to help her learn how to skateboard a few years ago. She also suggested today's book, Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson, which happens to be one of my favorite books, so good job, Chloe. Let's find out what happens when too many friends want to take a ride on a witch's broom. The witch had a cat and a hat that was black and long ginger hair in a braid down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it blew off the hat. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with a hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forests they flew, the dog wagged his tail, and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and <laughs> held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from her braid, just like that cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree, with an ear-splitting shriek, ah! there flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said, as the witch tied her braid with the bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch, so the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee ah! and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leapt a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on the fold of her cloak. I am a frog, as clean as could be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Ribbit. Yes, said the witch, so the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy, and the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud, and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I am a dragon as mean as can be, and witch with french fries tastes delicious to me. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. 
the dragon drew near with glint in his eye and said, Just this once I'll have witch without bronze. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads and wings like a bird. And its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl, a growl, a croak, and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch, and it said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch! The dragon drew back and he started to shake. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, he spluttered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. Then they threw them all in, and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Giggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom! Then out rose a truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird, and a pool for the frog. Ribbit. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick. And whoosh, they were gone. Wow, what a cute book. I love it. Such a special broom for all your friends. If you could design your perfect broom for all your friends, who would be riding on it with you? Mine would be a motorcycle with a sidecar. I would fly it through the trees with a special puppy in the sidecar with his little ears flapping in the breeze. If you want to draw and design your own special broom and send it to me, I will put it on my website. I will put my contact in the description below. Thanks so much for coming today. I had so much fun. I really love doing this and I hope to see you next time. Bye!